YouTube, what's really good? It is your guy Hitch. The 2024 collaboration train has taken off. So Travis Scott not only dropped his first ever signature sneaker with Jordan brand, but he also added another colorway to the Jordan 1 low silhouette. Then you had Action Bronson. He just released one of three colorways of the New Balance 1906Rs, which by the way, I will be bringing you that review. So please make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss that video. And then you also have Cactus Plant Flea Market, who has continued their collaboration on one of the greatest sneakers of all time, and that is the Nike Air Force One. So back in 2020, CP FM did their first collaboration on the Air Force One where they used the influence of the Nike Air more up tempo to help design the Air Force One with two monochromatic colorways, white and black. And then this year on May 2nd, they added two more colorways to the collection with fuchsia and this seamoss green. Since these Air Force Ones are monochromatic and there are so many other details to get to, I won't spend too much time talking about the color of them. I will say this, I do like the CMOS green that they did use. Now, I mentioned before that CPFM was influenced by the Nike Air more of tempos in designing these Air Force Ones. So to date, all of the Air Force Ones that they have designed, they all have the letters AIR stitched into the right sneaker. And speaking of that, the uppers, they use this really good tumbled leather. So the leather is a nice size cut. It's soft, it feels good in hand. And the same thing can be said about the leather that they used on the big leather cutouts as well. They did not shortchange us in any way with the leather quality on the sneaker. Now that we got that out of the way, I wanna talk about the other traditional features of the Air Force One. They're all still intact. Um, so when you think about the swooshes, they're all still there, but the only swoosh that's not blocked is going to be the swoosh on the right sneaker, but on the medial side. And the same thing can be said about the Nike Air logo that's stitched into the back tab. It's not blocked at all. And when you look at the laces, the laces are still flat, just like normal. But I will say the laces on these particular Air Force Ones do seem to be a little bit more of a better quality. And then you still have your traditional stainless steel Air Force One Debray. And then your tongue, still made out of mesh, still has the tag at the top with the Nike Air Air Force One tech stitched into it. And finally, they did not alter or change anything on the midsoles or outsoles of these Air Force Ones. Now that we got all the traditional or basic features and details of the Air Force One out of the way, let's talk about how Cactus Plant Flea Market really set this collaboration off and it starts by how the sneakers are now mismatched so on the right foot the le the words air is spelled out but on the left foot the word sunshine is spelled out and what i love about it is that it wraps from the lateral side of the sneaker all the way to the medial side and if that was not enough for you all of the letters both air and sunshine is now outlined by 3m so depending on how the light hits your shoe you're definitely going to add some pop and make the sneaker stand out while you're wearing them the other detail that I really do like, and this detail is a little bit more subtle, is that certain parts of the sneaker has like this lime green color piping through it. So some people may not notice it, but when you do notice it, it's just a subtle detail that I think just adds some more character to the uppers of the shoe. I actually wish they did a little bit more of it, but that's another story. Now, my personal favorite detail or accessory of this release is going to be the super thick laces. Me personally, I love additional laces. I think most consumers love options and one easy way to do that is to provide us with the different lacing options and they did that here. Even though the lacing debris can't fit with the, the thick laces, I think that using these thick laces just gives the, the sneaker itself a different aesthetic when you have them on. Not only that, but it kind of reminds me of how Sakai had the double lacing options with the LD waffles back a couple years ago. Lastly, when you get to the inside of the sneaker, you now have mismatching multicolor insoles that has the letter L and R on the respective 
left and right sneaker. I don't think anyone's gonna go crazy for some insoles, but I do think the multicolor does break up the monotony of all the sea moss that was used. Kudos to Cactus Plant Flea Market on another solid job on the Air Force One collaboration, now four colorways in. In 2020, we got the white and black colorways. Actually, in 2020, we also got a Nike Bayou release when they had dropped. I believe it was just one option on there where it would allow you to change the color outline of the words, and it did pretty well. Maybe they'll bring back another Nike Bayou release where maybe we get some more options. That would be dope. But we now have Fuchsia, we have CMOS. They also dropped white and black colorways again this year, and they're doing a good job. Me, I love the Air Force One. I actually think it's one of the top five greatest sneakers ever created. So I love when Nike does collaborations on them. I actually wish we got more collaborations and less trash general release colorways, but that's just me. The retail on these were 150. If you did not cop on release day, that means that your only option now is to either trade for them or pay resale and the resale is going up darn near every day so i'd either cop now or trade for them and if you are going to cop them make sure you go a half size down as they have the standard air force one fit and comfort on a scale of one to five one being trash five being fire i'm going with a 3.5 i'm a huge fan of the sneaker being inspired by the more up tempos and the 3m details and now we got two new colorways in the collection fuchsia and cmos i think they did a good job there Matter of fact, have you guys seen the friends and family pairs? They smoke these. And it would be cool if maybe they release something like that in the future with similar options. We'd love to see if that happens. It actually makes me think about like what's next for the CPFM collaboration with Nike um, and the Air Force One silhouette in general. Like I totally understand that this is a mass produced sneaker for Nike, but maybe they'll reel that in a little bit so that the consumer can really appreciate the greatness that the shoe is because that's just my personal opinion but if you enjoyed the video please make sure you hit the thumbs up subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification so you're not missing any new videos when i drop them i'm out i'm a quicker picker up with my lethal weapon always use a danny glover don't turn women you don't love the baby mothers atl greek with my hot